Let's take a look at knowledge management in Dynamics CRM 2016's new interactive service hub. So here I am in the service hub. I'm going to go over to the knowledge articles area. Let's open up this particular article on mobile phones and have a look at it. So while we're in here, we can use the process flows to guide us through the process of creating and updating and publishing our article. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it ready for review and move it to the next stage. Let's go ahead and do a few quick edits to this article too. I can zoom in and you can see I've got a header style here so I can format things differently. I have full sort of Microsoft Word type of editing in this now. But I can also do things like insert media in here. So if I click here and I click the link to insert media, and I've actually created a YouTube video that I'm going to insert in this. There. So you can see I can create really nice, rich, elaborate articles about how to do certain things, resolve certain issues, whatever kind of knowledge it is that I need to track. Now, while I'm in here, you can see there's a lot of other things I can do with this article. I can use queues to manage it. I can reassign it to somebody else. I can also do versioning. So if you do a lot of detailed tracking of your articles, that's available to you. I can associate more categories with this, making it easy to find. If I'm a global company operating in different areas where different people using different languages may need to access this knowledge, whether it's internal reps or external clients, I can translate the article to, different, um, to those different languages. I can also follow my process for approving, publishing, ultimately archiving this article, and I can relate it to other things like other articles and other products, again, making it easy to find, and I can mark it as an internal only article. So we're going to go ahead and approve this article. And using our process, we can follow along with it. We could even set an expiration date and a reminder there for us to go ahead and now publish the article as well. And now let's take a look at our cases and we'll scroll down here a bit. Here we go. As it happens, we've had a case come in looking for mobile phone support. So let's open that case. Now we're on the case form, but if we come over here to the related area and we click this look up, CRM automatically surfaces a list of knowledge base articles that it thinks might resolve this case. And you can see one of the ones that surfaced was the one that we just created. We can click on it to open it. And you can see when we open it, it automatically creates a link here so we can easily navigate back to it again. If I want to check out some other articles, I can do that. And now I can toggle between those articles easily enough. When looking at an article, I can see the number of views and the rating. And I have a few other actions. I can link the article and email it automatically. If I click that, I'm going to automatically bring up an email dialog. The full article gets pasted into the email and I can send it to the customer with just a click or two. And because I clicked link article and email the content, it automatically selected to link the article to this case for me. If I come over here to the tab and I look at case relationships, you can see all of the articles that this case is associated with, as well as other items the case is associated with too. So that's a quick summary of managing knowledge in Dynamic CRM 2016.